Picking up where we left off in the last video with the RBD bullet solver and the material fracture. In this video, we're gonna be going over how we can control the breaking, uh, where it's happening, and uh, have a little bit better idea of what our simulation is going to look like based off of that. So the best way that I can think of to illustrate this, at least for a couple of these uh, ways, is to use the material type of glass, because when glass shatters, you want the origin to be where it's actually shattering. So you want to be able to control where the shattering is actually taking place. So obviously, if you were to hit glass like a, a rock or something, it's going to shatter where the rock hits. So if you hit it up here, it's obviously not going to shatter down here. It doesn't make any sort of sense. So you could kind of just pray and hope that we could get close to it with the scatter seed here. Just change that until we got something that we liked and just shatter it wherever that lies. Or we could get some precise control using some different methods. You could also have a couple points. So if you want to have uh, two or three breaks going on. So if you were to hit something like a car window, it's going to shatter but it's not gonna fall apart. If you hit it again or a couple more times, it might, it's gonna shatter in different spots and it might actually um, break and fall into the car. So how do we actually control where this break is taking place? So there's a couple different ways that we can do this. I'm gonna show you uh, another way that we can do similar stuff to what's going on here, but also have a little bit more control. And then we're gonna show the super precise control that you can get with this. So I'm gonna drop in a scatter node. So if I wire this up, we've got a bunch of points that are showing up on the surface now. So if I drop this down to something like 20, and then we wire this into the last input. So if I hover over here, you can see it says extra Voronoi points. And that's basically going to be what's going to drive where our break is taking place. So if I wire that up and then I re-visualize our bullet solver, if I go back into our material fracture and enable this input points, you're gonna see that we get a ton of breaks going on. And that's based off of the scattering that's going on inside this scatter node. Each one of these breaks is happening where one of the points are, and you can see that if I were to select this option right here, you can see that we have the ability to now pick some of these points. So you can art direct it a little bit. So let's say I wanna select these two points if I click enter, you can now see that now we have some breaks going on where these points are at. And you can also change the global seed and do some more variations like that. If you wanted to do that, have a little bit different of a, of a way to scatter the points than just using these settings right here. Now, obviously that's not ideal. You don't want to just have a bunch of random points and hope that you get lucky and get one close to where you want, you want to actually be able to control where the break is going. So let's go ahead and clear this out. And I'm going to go ahead, just disconnect this and delete this scatter node. I'm going to drop in an add node. And this is because we want to actually have a point that we create and um, we want to basically place that where our breaks can happen. So if I just select this point zero, that's going to make it, let's actually disable that. If I turn on our points here, you can see that we don't have any points, but if I select this, we have point zero right there at the origin now. So let's go ahead and move this up and I'm just gonna use a transform node, wire that up and I'm going to go ahead and just uh, set the, the wireframe flag on that and let's go ahead and change where this is going to appear. So I drag this up. You can see if I now set our display flag over here, turn off our points, and I wire this in, you're going to see that we have our break taking place right where our point was. And how do we know that? Because if I drag this along, you can see that it changes and updates based on wherever that point is. Now let's say you wanted a couple of different breaks to happen. 
uh, you wanted more than one. Let's go ahead, let's just copy and paste that in. And then let's do a merge. OCD site will make those even, and then I can bring those together. Now if I change where this is at, you can see that we got a couple different breaks going on. So this is how you would basically art direct any sort of glass breaking in your scene. You can line up exactly where whatever object is flying through the window to where your point is and have the glass break exactly where you need it. Now, if you were to do this with something like the concrete, you can see that it already doesn't really work and that's because we want to use a different method for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete all of those because we don't need those nodes. And then I'm gonna drop in an RBD uh, paint node, there it is. So now if I wire this in and I go ahead and set the display flag here, you see I have a option to draw now. Your mouse wheel is going to make it larger or smaller for the, the radius and we want to just draw on where we want most of the the breaking to take place. So if I just paint on a little bit here. And now if I wire all of these up into our material fracture and jump back down here, you see that's going to fracture and let's get out of that. And it's not working right away. Let's go ahead, we need to hit enter, get out of that. And actually what we really need to do is go into the primary fracture and go to this scatter from. So we wanna set this from volume to attribute. And this is gonna set it to density. So where our density of our paint is taking place, it's going to actually be doing a lot of the breaking and it still looks like it's not working completely properly. So let's see. Let's go ahead. Let's paint on some more here. Whoa, okay. So it's got some more breaking and actually probably if we go back in here and up the fracture levels, or up the density, let's do 10 points. You're gonna see that there's some more breaking going on here. Now obviously there's breaking going around um, in other places too, and that's just gonna happen because that's how things break. But if I up this a lot, maybe to like 40, you see that a lot of our breaking is originating right in here where we've painted. So there's a ton more breaking going on here now as opposed to the rest where you see these big pieces and uh, some bigger pieces here, but they're more stemming from this spot of origin right there. So that's the basics of how you're going to go through and actually art direct where your, uh, your objects are breaking. So you can use that to, like, let's say you wanted to uh, drop a ball on the concrete you don't want, to, um, or like a, a wrecking ball or something onto the concrete. You want it to kind of cave in and break basically just right around where the ball is going to hit, right? You don't want that to break evenly across the entire surface. You'd see a lot of crumbling going on where it hits, where this red would be. Um, you see a lot of these smaller breaks going on. That's what you'd see in an actual situation. So. Use this to your advantage, these different um, ways to control and art direct your scenes. Uh, but hopefully this helps you out. Um, got another video coming that's going to go over how we can actually go through and have stuff collide with this geometry, as well as do things like explosions. So if you were, this was a building, we wanted to explode out where this red is, I'll show you how we can go about doing that as well. But that's gonna be in the next video, so keep an eye out for that, as well as check out some other videos on my channel. Uh, if you wanna look into learning more about Houdini, I also have some stuff on Cinema 4D as well. So got a lot more coming, just keep an eye out for all these videos, 
And like I said, hopefully this helps you out. Feel free to ask any questions if you have those and have a good day.